so guys in this video i'm going to talk about scroll airdrop artists that you are going to do to make you to be eligible for the airdrop distribution so let's get started so this is the scroll official website just up of bridging to school one of the airdrop eligibility criteria is to bridge some ethereum into the scroll network so let's say i want to bring 0.01 ethereum as you can see the gas fee is very very high as you can see 0.009 ethereum which is equivalent to almost 20 dollars you can see the gas fee is 20 dollars so if you are someone with heavy funds let's say 100 100 dollar plus you can bridge using the official uh, portal but i'm going to provide an alternative which is orbiter.finance Orbiter Finance is a decentralized cross roller bridge that offers low cost, safe, and almost instant transfer of Ethereum native assets. Fortunately, the scroll network is on Orbiter Finance, so all I have to do is just locate it and make sure you also connect your wallet. So let me head over down and select scroll. So I'm going to bridge some of my Ethereum, my main network Ethereum, to my scroll network. So all you have to do is to just input the amount. You can even make use of $10 or $15 preferably for this airdrop. So I'm going to bridge some Ethereum. Then I'm just going to tap on send. And the gas fee will be relatively lower compared to the scroll official bridging portal. So let me just tap on send. You just tap on confirm and send. And I'm just going to approve the transaction. You can see that the gas fee will be relatively cheap now. So the gas fee is just $1.32. So you see it's much more cheaper than the school official bridging portal. So all I have to do now is just confirm the transaction for it to go through. So once you tap on it, it's going to take like a minute or two for you to receive your Ethereum on the scroll network. So the transaction is now confirmed all i have to do is just scroll down and locate my scroll uh network so as you can see i have the 24 dollars worth of ethereum on my scroll network so the next thing that you are going to do is to make use of some decks to swap in order for us to like increase our trading volume which might be one of the airdrop criteria for scroll airdrop Going to provide all the necessary links to these decks. So the first one is saying swap, and we are going to swap some of our Ethereum to USDC. So all I have to do is just input the amount of Ethereum that I want to swap. Then I'm just going to swap it. And the transaction fee is very very low. It's just 21 cents, sometimes 31 cents as well. So let us see how much will be the transaction fee. So as you can see, the transaction fee is very, very low. So all I have to do is just confirm it. It's going to take some few seconds for it to be confirmed. Once it's confirmed, all I have to do is just convert it back to Ethereum. Then I'm going to head over to the next DAP. Can you know that you can make use of any other coin, not necessarily USDC. You can make use of wrap Ethereum, wrap Bitcoin, etc. It's just that the USDC is a stable coin which is not subject to volatility so as you can see the transaction is submitted and let's exercise some patience so i now have the usdc all i have to do is just tap on that arrow then once i have tapped on it all i have to do is just tap 100 percent for my usdc to be swapped back to ethereum then i'm just going to unlock the usdc and the gas fee is very very low so you don't have to like freak out it's just like some few cents once it has been unlocked, all you have to do is just tap on swap, then approve the transaction. So as you can see, the gas fee is just $0.2, so all you have to do is just confirm the transaction. And you can make use of one dex to be swapping back and forth for the airdrop, but, but preferably, it's much better to interact with different dex which will increase your trading volume and even much more smart contract interaction. So I'm going to drop all the necessary links to all these decks and they are all the same. It's just copy and paste. You are just going to swap some of your Ethereum to USDC. So I'm just going to explain maybe one or two more. Then I'm just going to provide the necessary links to all the decks. It's still the same thing. You are just going to swap some few Ethereum to any stable coin or coin that you want. So the next DEX is Kaiba Swap. All you have to do is just collect my wallet and select my MetaMask. 
For those of you that are using Android, you can make use of Kiwi or Mrs. Browser to participate in this airdrop. So all I have to do is just sign into my wallet. Once you've signed in, you'll be required to register an account with your email. So it's pretty basic. Just swap some of your Ethereum to USDC. So in this case, I'm just going to swap like $5 to $10. Then just select any coin. You have a variety of coins. You can go with anyone that you want. Then just tap on swap. So all you have to do is just confirm the swap. And the gas fee is also cheap in this deck. So let us see the gas fee. So the gas fee is $0.4. So all you have to do is just confirm it. Once this transaction has been submitted, all you have to do is just tap on close, then just exercise patience for the USDT to be swapped completely. Then once I have done so, all I have to do is to just swap my USDC back to Ethereum. So as you can see, the swap has been succeeded. So all I have to do is just tap on my Ethereum, tap on the USDT that I just swapped, then all I have to do is just input the amount that I want to swap. Then I'm just going to approve the USDT and just swap it. So just in case, if the swap me isn't working, you can increase the slippage to like 3% or less, the transaction should go through. So you can see the gas fee is just $0.2, then all I have to do is just call 5 bits and that's pretty much it. Another thing that I forgot to address, you can head over to your sync swap and also add liquidity to the pool. Kindly you know that this is optional, it's not a necessity for you to add liquidity but if you have some funds, you can add liquidity to the pool which will then in turn increase your chances of your airdrop. So now we have many decks, we have SpaceFi, you are still going to do the same thing, just bridge Ethereum to USDC. So there are many decks that you can interact with to swap your Ethereum to USDC. Kindly you know that this is optional but it is recommended, you can even make use of like two to three decks and you're done i'm going to provide all the links in the description of this video also if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel can you do so because it encourages me to make more videos like this so one of the most important thing to do in this airdrop is to deploy contracts in the scroll network which will make us to be eligible to mint nft i'm going to show you guys how to work you through so all you have to do is head over to this website and just connect your wallet all you have to do now is you just create an account, you just input your email, then tap on get started for free. An OTP will be sent to your email, input it. So you'll be required to add the payment method, you can just tap on I'll do this later, it's optional, it's not necessary. So the next thing that you are going to do is head over down and tap on ready to deploy. Once you have done so, tap on NFT drop. The next thing that you are going to do is just tap on deploy now. Once you tap on deploy now, make sure it's on the scroll network, then just input your name. You can put anything that you want, it doesn't have to be anything fancy or official. You don't have to put the symbol description, just leave it the way it is and make sure it is on the scroll network, then just tap on deploy now. So deploying the contract is just $0.7, it can be more or less for you, but as you can see, it's less than a dollar. So all you have to do is just confirm the transaction. So deploying the contract is now successful, all you have to do now is to add it to our dashboard. As you can see, this process is even gasless, so all you have to do is just sign in. So as you can see, we have now successfully deployed contracts. So the last thing that we are going to do is to check our eligibility for the airdrop on the scroll official portal. So once you're on the official page, make sure you're on scroll.io, then just head over there and tap on mint your scroll origin NFT. This is how the interface looks like. All you have to do is just tap on develop, then tap on scroll origin NFT. So as you can see, the program is going to end in 26 days. Kindly you know that there was tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3. So the tier 1 was the quintic, as you can see. The second one is the quartic, and the third one is the cubic. So we missed the quintic, which ended on november 9th and you know today is 15 november so but fortunately we are we will be eligible for the quartic and the cubic so kindly make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel because i'm going to update you guys when the cubic nft is available to meet so just check your eligibility as you can see you are eligible to meet the nft now so we are just going to come back on december 14 2023 Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel because I'm going to update you guys when it's available and also when it's available to miss the Cubic NFT as well. So if you like this video, do make sure to like and subscribe to be updated whenever I post a new video like this. Subscribe. Also, join our Telegram because some of the airdrops I don't post it on YouTube.
i'll see you guys in the next video